I'm Ross Jennings, and this is Waffle TV, sponsored by West Beer. This afternoon, we're in the Pleasant Stone with Keely Winston and Jess Bagley, who have this year brought their, their virgins to the fringe, apparently, mm. and um, are bringing their show, Sex Lives of Others. Now, this year, there's quite a few um, shows at the fringe with the theme of sex. Now, how do you guys differ from all the others? We've got Sex Guru, then we've got um, Sexual, is it Sexual Freaky Friday, that sort of thing. And how, how are you guys... How do you think you guys will differ from all of these uh, other shows? I think the unique thing about Sex Lives of Others is the fact that it's a play yep. and it's funny, <laughs> which okay. unfortunately is a rare combination. Yeah. Um, so you know, if many. you've kind of overdosed on stand-up and sketch comedy, but you still want to be yeah, having yeah. a good time and entertained and laughing, mm -hmm. then and from it's an great. Act, act, act point of view. Uh, that is is that harder to go harder to uh, is, is comedy quite hard thing to do I think stage? it's really hard mm. yeah um, and it's a, a good job we've got such a great script because yeah I'm not funny I don't think I'm funny. she really is I'm not yeah well people who are funny don't maybe not necessarily know I don't know but I don't know how stand-ups do it because yeah. I mean I've, that's that's even scarier than than what we've got but and especially somewhere like the fringe where you've got you've got quite a lot of competition mm, and the crowds yeah. are probably quite hard to please sometimes yeah exactly and how, how long have you been writing for Keely? um just two years kind of uh, midlife yeah. what am i going to do with the second half of my career and uh, I've, i always wanted to write so and how did you come up with this this storyline sex this lives of others sex lives of others started as a short play in london mm. that was going to be was it funny, you know, and really dark, and it played there, and then the Pleasants liked that, and so we developed it from there as a, as a full length. Brilliant, and so did they get in contact with you to, to bring you guys up to I, the Yeah, I'd been, I'd been talking to them about other work, and yeah. and then I approached Helen, Hannah Iden now to direct it, and she said she'd love to, mm. and um, <laughs> there we are. There and we are. <laughs> <laughs> and now you're here. And how's the response been so far at the Fringe? Brilliant. It's sold out. Two sold days out in a row. Nice. Sold out two Good days to in a row. So yeah. hopefully it'll be like that for the rest of the. I should say Hannah's fringe. won five fringe firsts prior to this okay. year. So. Uh, so do you think that's that has helped with the the audiences? Well, the audience? yeah, hopefully. Yeah, yeah. And also Joe Brand has read the script mm. and, and loves she it. loves it. <laughs> so seen some of that the, helps. The comments <laughs> and that. Brilliant. Well, it does sound it does sound hilarious. And being it's it's two fifteen in the Pleasant's courtyard, isn't it? It yes. is indeed. Very good. Well, thank you very much for speaking to us today. And um, I look forward to coming to see your show. Right, this is Ross Jennings from Waffle TV.